What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Mexican Pyramids, co-starring my boy Mike right here. That's right. Can't walk up them, but we heard if you touch the rocks, good things will happen. Welcome to Mexico, motherfuckers. This entire area I'm about to show you is called Teotihuacan from the Aztec civilization. But actually, this was built before the Aztecs. It's approximately 750 years old. So that's about 500 years longer than the United States has been in existence. The name Teotihuacan was given to this place by the Aztecs after the fall of the city around 550 CE and it's translated birthplace of the gods or the place where the gods were born. That's what the Aztecs believed. Even the famous ruler Montezuma was so taken by Teotihuacan's beauty that he knew that something of significance must have happened here and that this site should be honored and revered. Have you ever heard of Montezuma's revenge? It's the same person. And they say that it's retribution from the El Conquistador Hernan Cortez for slaughtering and enslaving the people of the Aztec culture. And also, revenge for eating any Mexican food that might not agree with you. The first pyramid we come to on our adventure is the Pyramid of the Moon. It was the smaller of the two pyramids there at Teotihuacan. We are now walking from the Pyramid of the Moon to the Pyramid of the Sun. The street that connects these two structures is called the Avenue of the Dead because of the many sacrifices that happened here to the gods. They actually found a mass grave with over 200 bodies supposedly to be sacrificed here at Teotihuacan. Underneath this overhang still existed some ancient historical drawings that you can check out. This pyramid right here was called Pyramid of the Sun, the larger of the two structures there. It was absolutely awesome.
It was a fantastic outdoor experience that I would recommend to anyone traveling to Mexico. If you enjoyed the content, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. See you on the next one.